it. These are pain to do, but a lot of times you have Class C competitions and things like, and you'll see all these guys do this. You can't really dig into this thing, and, it, and a lot of times you want to fuse more of them together. So what you do is just take a piece of match. Now, if you really want to get reliable, you could prime this. It takes some meal and mixes some water or some nitrous oils and just you know, dip this in there and let it dry so this would be covered with powder then. I've never done that personally. People do that, but I've never had them really fail by using match. But if you want to be totally reliable, you prime this in, okay? And all you're gonna do is you take a piece of, uh... now when you're working with these, there's a whole thing about bypass and cutting with this. Because remember, you don't want this to go off either. So if you use a scissor, there's the chances are, because you have two metal surfaces bypassing each other, that spark could ignite this. I've never seen that happen, but if you use this, there's never no chance, of no, there's only one piece of metal, so there's no chance of it ever going off. So you just try not to use uh, scissors. So you just cut a very small piece. Now, one thing I have seen when, uh, when things misfire and don't go off, because remember, misfires are a problem. When you're doing a show, you don't want, you don't want to go home with stuff because you have to be placarded. So the point of it is getting everything up in the air. <coughs> so to avoid misfires, we'll talk a lot today about how we're going to avoid those. One way what happens is there's a lot of layers of paper in here. And if you put this in between the layers of paper and not where the match is, chances are it won't go off. The fire will just continue traveling down that paper and it will never burn into the inside because it's so fast. Okay, so you have to make sure you're always touching the black. So this is going on this side right here. And then you see the matches in there. And then what we're gonna do is, I always like using a small piece. Because remember all this stuff just continues to burn afterwards. So right now we have the visco in here, it's in this casing. We have the match in there. This black match is what's gonna light everything in there. We're gonna put this down in here. and tape it. I like using duct tape for this, because this is like... Because it will hold it really good. Okay? And then you can put another piece of tape on the top here for your, for your strain relief if you want. Okay, so that's, that's Class C devices. You can do all kinds of devices like this. Now, you could also have the match you know, a long piece of match and do that and have six of them in a row and just do that along each way. Instead of cutting it, just like, you know, strip away a little bit and, and stick it in and tape it there, you know. And if you prime it, it would be more reliable if you want, but I've never done that. 